Today we're going to do a demonstration with our Sim ALP2. This is the new LCD version of our popular analog simulator. It can simulate a 4 to 20 milliamp source, a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop, or a 0 to 10 volt DC signal. To make our example a little clearer, we're also going to put a voltmeter in line with it that we can measure a milliamp signal. Here's the circuit diagram that we are connecting with today. On our example, we have a DL06, which we are using the pre-wired arms to bring all of our I.O. down here. So I am going to be connecting into channel number three of our DL06 with the red wire. And the red of our voltmeter will go to our plus 24 volt power supply. One of my favorite new features of Sim ALP2 is that it has a scaling mode. So with the original ALP, you know, it simulated a 4 to 20. But if I had a temperature probe that's range was 32 to 140, I had to kind of guess at what the scale value would be at 12 milliamps. With the SIM ALP2, it has engineering units on it. And what that does, is it allows you to say that at 4 milliamps, I am 32 degrees, and at 20 milliamps, I am 140 degrees. And it will scale it in the middle for you. To start, we'll turn on our analog simulator, and we'll select our mode, which is going to be current 2 wire. And it tells us we'll need an external power supply with the plus going to the black terminal, and the red terminal will go to our PLC input. Just as our circuit diagram showed, we're going to put the black lead from our voltmeter into the black terminal of our simulator. We're going to put our red wire into the red terminal. Make sure you have your leads in the proper position for a milliamp reading. And turn your voltmeter to milliamps. You see we have a zero milliamp signal. And I'll turn on our simulator. And where we have our modes, if you go down, we also have engineering unit scale. And then we have EU high, which since our high value, our 20 milliamp value of our temperature probe is going to be 140. I'm going to put this up at 140. And our EU low, I am going to put at 32 because that is the low range of our temperature sensor. Now we'll back out and we'll go back to current 2 wire. I want to take a moment just to show one of the great features of this. I'm going to take just one of the wires and pretty much we'll be breaking the loop that you see here in this picture. But when I take it off, you see it immediately says open wire. It's really turning out to be a popular feature of this simulator. As you can see, we have a 4 milliamp signal coming out of our simulator. Our meter is showing a 4 milliamp signal. And our HMI is showing a raw milliamp of 4. And since we are simulating a temperature probe here which has a scale of 32 to 140 it is showing 32 degrees we run up to 5 milliamps you see we show 5 coming out our meter shows 5 our HMI shows 5 and now our scale value is 39 and I'm not going to go through each one of them as you can see as we go bump it up it bumps up on our meter and as till we get to 20 milliamps now our simulator shows that we're putting out 20 milliamp our meter shows we're putting out 20 milliamp, our HMI shows 20 milliamp, and our scaled value shows 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. We run the automation store. Be sure to visit our support section for more great articles and videos. And view our line of PLC cables and trainers, simulators, repair services, surplus inventory, charity auctions, and more.